Okay, so we're going to now cover the nerves coming off of the brachial plexus. Remember that the brachial plexus goes from about C6 to T2. Which, um, let's start off with this nice big guy here. You can see that it is coursing between the supraspinatus muscle and the subscapularis muscle. So this is going to be the suprascapular nerve. Excuse me, suprascapular nerve. That suprascapular nerve, something that helps me is if you lay that the scapula flat as it would be on us, those muscles it innervates, which would be the supraspinatus and infraspinatus, are then suprascapular. So that nerve is innervating these suprascapular muscles, as it were. So that's the suprascapular nerve. We then have a couple very small nerves going into the subscapularis muscle, and those would be the subscapular nerves. Um, come down here, we find a nerve, a very large nerve. Sometimes it has multiple branches as it's passing between the subscapularis muscle and the teres major muscle. So this is going to be the axillary nerve. Axillary nerve is going to get a little bit of supply to the subscapularis muscle, but mostly it's going to supply the teres major, the teres minor, and then we see here where it comes through and some branches are going into the deltoideus muscle. Okay, so the axillary innervates teres major, teres minor, deltoideus, which are the major flexors of the shoulder. So when somebody comes up and pokes you in the axilla from behind, you're going to flex your shoulder. And what you do after that to the person, what you decide. <laughs> okay. Then we have a great big guy. Great big guy here that's diving down into the triceps brachii. This is going to be the radial nerve. The radial nerve is going to innervate the triceps brachii as well as the tensor fascia antibrachii and the anconius. We see it coming around here. We're going to have multiple muscular branches. And it's going to branch into a superficial branch here, which it looks like it's been broken, but it's going to have two branches, a medial and a lateral branch of the superficial, which course on either side of the cephalic vein. Mm -hmm. And then this portion here, which we see diving under here, this is the deep branch. The deep branch is going to do the muscles that extend the carpus and the digit. Okay, so with the radial nerve, it allows you to extend your elbow, extend your carpus and digit. Your arm is now radiating from your body. So radial nerve allows you to do that. Okay, one thing to note is the ulnaris lateralis muscle, even though that is a flexor in our domestic animals of the carpus, developmentally, it is a, an extensor muscle, so it's going to be innervated as the extensors with the radial nerve. So here we've got a nerve that's going to give off a branch proximally here and then continue along the biceps brachii muscle. And so that is going to be the musculocutaneous nerve. And the way I like to remember what the musculocutaneous nerve does Okay, it's going to innervate biceps brachii, brachialis, and corticobrachialis. If we just consider the biceps brachii and the brachialis, those are going to be flexors of the elbow. Okay, so musculocutaneous, weightlifters like to show you the muscle under their skin by flexing their elbow. Okay, then oh, let's come back here before I forget. We're going to have a thracodorsal nerve running with the thracodorsal artery and we're also going to have running with this branch of the lateral thoracic artery coursing past the axillary lymph nodes we're going to have the lateral thoracic nerve that nerve is important in that it goes and it innervates the cutaneous trunchi muscle okay and here we've got two nerves. We've got one that's going to stay medial, which is the median. It's going to run with the median 
artery on down go all the way on through the carpal canal and then we've got the ulnar nerve here which is going to come more caudally and let's see if we can find it under here there it is so here it's running along it's going to give off two branches I'm not sure we're going to find both of them one of them is going to be called the dorsal branch and it's going to come around the lateral side and go to the dorsal part of the paw this main one here is the palmar branch which we're going to also trace down through the carpal canal so both of these nerves are going to innervate muscles that are going to flex the carpus and digits mm -hmm. okay the ulnar is going to do the more caudal ones the median, the more medial ones. And there is a little bit of overlap, especially in the deep digital flexors where they're innervated by both. Okay, and for the axillary from this angle, it's gonna, it's not next to the axillary vein, correct? It's, yeah, it's, it's more. So it's right here. Okay, and then this one coming up is the thoraco Dorsal? Yeah. No? Yeah. And then this one here is the goes deep. The big thick guy going right into the triceps brachii is the radial. Radial. Yeah. Okay. And these are the ulnar and median. Mm -hmm. And does it start as the median nerve? Is that how you term it? Well, no. Th this is all still part of the brachial plexus up okay. here. And they just separate they branch. at that point. Okay. Yeah. I and think. then musculocutaneous. Alright, and, and uh, so suprascapular. And then subscapular. Subscapular here. And then the one going to the pectoral here. And so if we find one that's branches going to the deep pectoral muscles, then that's going to be the caudal pectoral nerves. And if we find any going into the superficial pectoral muscles you can maybe see one right in here is going to be the cranial pectoral nerves okay thank you